Hey guys, it's the Quincy Turner again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all of my videos. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos with AR Foundation. I'm actually going to be focusing on Unity 2018.3.0 Beta 7 to test out and make sure the AR Foundation version 3.1.0 is working fine so we're going to be doing an experiment where we're going to be using people occlusion seeing if that works and then we're going to be placing basically planes by using plane detection a couple of different 3d models in the scene so let's jump into unity and start looking at it all right guys so let me show you what we're going to be doing today which is to create uh, basically an ar foundation project by using the latest version of unity so i'm going to be using 2019 that three that's zero v7 and the reason why i want to do this is because i want to make sure that things are going to work and this is just going to let us know the air foundation is working well with the latest version of unity and then we can also be testing you know features and a new upcoming you know changes that unity is pushing so i'm going to call this one ar foundation experiments and i'm also going to be putting this in github if you're interested in downloading it you can do that as well and then we're going to be referencing our old project for a few scripts that I'm going to need. I'm also going to be using the latest version of AR Foundation, which is 3.1.0. It comes with people occlusion. And I showed you guys in a previous video how that worked. I want to I want to also do that as well. So a couple of things that we're going to need from, from this project specifically is that we're going to need, and this is my other project, the Unity AR Foundation Essentials is we're going to need the AR Plane Manager. I don't want to have to create that again. So I'm going to just go ahead and reveal it in Finder, and then we're going to be using that as a reference. And let's go ahead and see the status of this. OK, so it looks like we have our new, here's our new UI. And before we get going, I need to also go into, into Window, and then we're going to be bringing in the Package Manager. Perfect. And then some of the dependencies that I'm going to need is I need AR Foundation. So I'm going to need to click on Advanced, and then we're going to look at pre basically Previous. So I'm going to be bringing in AR Foundation 3.1.0. So I'm going to install that one. I'm also going to be ins installing AR Core and AR Kit. That way, if you need to test any features in this project, you can test it either in Android or also iOS. Okay, I also need the AR subsystem, so I'm just going to do basically, oh, it looks like it's a dependency of the other one, looks like, yep. All right, so now that we have those two, I'm going to go ahead and click on the AR key XR plugin, and then also bring the same version. Excellent. And then lastly, when this is done, we'll do the AR core XR plugin. Excellent. And one more. And I'm seeing an error below. Hopefully that's nothing bad. Or oh, just a meta file. Okay, so let's just go ahead and click install. And perfect. And we should almost be done with the with the initial setup. All right, let me make sure that these errors are gonna clear out. And I'm just gonna hit play to make sure we don't get any any basically play runtime errors. All right, so we're we're good here. So as far as like our scenes, this one is going to be an example of using occlusion. So I'm just going to say people occlusion. It's going to be our first demo in this, basically in this series. I'm also going to need a couple more components. So if we go to XR, I'm going to need an AR session. I'm also going to need an AR session origin. Excellent. And then we have our camera. We have everything that we need. So if we're going to be using people occlusion, I know that we need to make a change to the camera. And it's not a change to the camera. It's basically adding a component. So it's going to search for occlusion. And it's going to be the AR occlusion manager. So if you want to implement occlusion, this is how you implement it. You actually just add a component, which Unity makes it pretty easy. And then we have different options in here. If we want to do fastest on segmentation with stencil, or if you want to use median, or if you want to use best. And they have different descri descriptions in here. So best rendering quality, medium is medium rendering quality, fastest is minimum rendering quality. So it just depends on what you're, I'm gonna try fastest because I didn't do, I don't think I did that last time. 
And the other thing that I'm going to need is I'm going to need materials. I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the materials here. Actually, not a material itself, but a material folder first. So I need to just go ahead and click on folder to create a folder. So it's going to be materials. Materials. And I'm also going to need a folder for prefabs. So prefabs. And then this is going to be our default material. We can call this one. This is going to be the one for the plane that gets, that gets detected. So we're just going to call it plane. And this one I'm going to use, let's see, I'll probably just do a little bit of a gray here and maybe make it a little transparent. I think that's what I did before. Excellent. And then I don't want any smoothness. I think that's what I did on the there we go. I did fade on the other project. That way it wasn't it wasn't like too too strong of a color. When we were using the plane, we were building the meshes for the plane detection. Alright, so I think I think that's good there. And then the next thing that I need to do is let's just bring in this prefab that I have for the plane. So it's gonna be the, the visualizer and make sure that everything everything works. So AR plane is AR plane, the plane mesh visualizer. So these are core components that Unity provides the mesh filter. It's fine. This is missing a material, which is going to be our material here. And oh, actually, this is the mesh. I did the wrong thing. Okay, it's going to be. Let me make sure that on the old project, this is all set the same way. I think it is because it doesn't get created during runtime. But I want to make sure because I want to make sh make sure that things work out of the box. Yeah, this is set to none because this mesh actually gets created when the plane gets generated by the by the framework and then we have our line render with a default basically our default line material which is just a, a shader a legacy shader so i think we're good as far as that that goes so the other thing that i want to do is i want to bring in an asset that i really like from synthes studios and let me go ahead and click on asset so let me go back into chrome and i can show you the one so this is the one that we're going to be downloading and I'm going to be including this in the project so you guys can use it as well. And there we go. Let me see if I can find it by if I can find it by that I'll just I'll just do that. And this is the free one. I'm going to go into polygon started started pack and download. And they have really cool assets so I normally use them for most of my assets especially because I like the minimalistic, low poly style. So, and, and also this is a free asset, so this is great for prototyping. All right, so we have everything imported, so we can close out of this. I don't need the asset store. Thank you, asset store. And then some of the prefabs here, let me just see what we have. And so just some, some generic things that we can use. We can use some buildings, we can use the rain, the plane, I think the plane is going to be the one that I'm going to be using for this demo. Awesome. And great. So as far as like the size of the size of this, I want to make sure that the size is correct. And right now, I think I'm going to do 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then we're going to be getting close to, we're going to be really getting really close to our camera. So it's going to do 0, 0, 0. And let me go back to the other project. I think that's what I did on the on the prefabs that I'm using here, specifically on the Tesla truck. I think I did. Actually, I made it really, really big because in this case, I really wanted the Tesla truck to be to be very large. And in this case, this one is about. Let me go ahead and look at it here and go into my camera. Okay, and turn the gizmo on. Okay, so if I go and look at the gizmo size, okay, excellent. And then if I do place the drag on there, just want to make sure how how big how big this is gonna be. Excellent. And okay, so I think we're good. We'll just test it out and see and make sure that everything everything is sized correctly. So like, let me go back here to to here, and then this one I already I already set. To point 0.1 so we're just gonna leave it at point 0.1 I just want a small plane and then what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and change the the basically apply it to the prefab so I'm gonna apply those changes 
so that everything everything is set up correctly. Let me go back here, look at my place. So a couple of things that I'm gonna need just out of the bat is I'm gonna need a couple of scripts and because I don't want to have to create this again. So we have the we're gonna be adding that to the air session origin. So I need the airplane manager which we're gonna be using here. So let me go ahead and so for the prefabs that we're gonna be using, I'm gonna drag and drop this into our own prefabs. And I'm gonna say this is gonna be a prefab variant. And this is gonna be our plane. Let's just call it the AR plane. Awesome. And there's one there's one more thing that I'm gonna need on that component. Because if you look at the component that I have here, and we have a placement object, and this is one of the implementations that I did on the other project. And I'm not going to be recreating that, so I'm just going to do this. We're just going to be copying that into this project. So we need a, a new folder. Let's call this one scripts. And to be honest, that's going to be most of what I'm going to be doing here. I'm just going to be copying and pasting. So we're going to be copying that. And then let me make sure that the other component that I have in here in the old project, it's also Okay, so it's going to be this component, and it's going to drag it and drop it. Perfect. And I think that's everything that I need to copy right now. And let me go back here. And we don't need the plane there. And perfect. So if we look at the other project, there's a couple of things that I need to set up. I need to add the airplane manager. So this is what's going to allow us to basically create the planes and detect vertical and horizontal planes. I'm going to set it to everything so we can do basically both both axes and I need to add my prefab which is going to be the airplane visualizer then the last thing that I need for in, in order for me to do a raycast is we need the air raycast manager and let's go ahead and bring it in so there's no changes in there or anything that I need to do that's just going to work and then of course the script that we just added so this is going to be our placement with many selection and it's going to require that we add a welcome panel, a dismiss button. You know what? I don't. I don't want to do that right now, because I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep this as simple as we can. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to delete this, and I think let's go back and see and make sure that. Oh, and of course it's going to complain because I removed the references. So we're just going to remove this and then fix some of this. And there we go. And we don't have any options. We can just. So I think what I really want to do here is I just want to do placement. We don't need to do a scaling or anything. Let's just call this one placement controller. So I'm just gonna rename this one to placement. Excellent. And I'll just I'll just remove everything that we're not gonna need. We don't need options, so we don't need any of this. I know I do need the air camera because we're going to be doing a raycast. I need the touch position. And these are fine. We don't need this. And I think, we, I think we're good. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. We don't need the toggle options. I don't need to do any scaling. At least not right now. And there we go. So this is doing basically a dragging. I'm just going to remove this. And I only want to do this on basically on the touch begin. So we can do that. I don't need to check for the UI being pressed. Okay, so on touch begin, we'll basically get a ray. We'll get a ray, basically a ray cast hit object. And somebody made a, a comment about me saying basically, and I apologize, I say basically a lot. I'm gonna try not to do a lot of basically. Okay, so I don't need any of this because this is not going to be doing a raycast. I do, I do need that. I do need. So there we go. That's really all we need. We need to do a raycast with the touch position against our planes. So this is what we're going to need. And then the heat pose. And then we're just going to be instantiating one. We can just say, okay, if the last. We can do one or we can do multiple. I think, I think multiple will be cool. There's really no reason for us to do. To not do multiple. And I think this is, I don't think I need to rotate anything and we don't need to get a placement object. So I'm just going to instantiate 
the object every time we touch on the on the plane. Excellent. And he pose. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so this is a, a very, you know, a slim version of what we had. And we don't need the AR session origin anymore because we're not doing any scaling. So I can just get rid of that. I don't think I'm using that either. And I'm not using that either. And that's a bare bone implementation right there. And we don't need this either. The one that we're going to need is, is this one, and we're going to be instantiating it. So I think we're good. We can probably just make this even simpler. We're just doing a lambda here. OK, so we got the touch position, touch position variable here. And I think, we, I think we're OK. OK, and all right, I think, we, I think we're good. So let me just go ahead and remove these unneeded references. And the AR camera. I'm not using it because I'm doing a raycast with the air raycast manager. Okay, so I think, okay, so I don't think I can go smaller than this. I think that's all we need. Let's go back into Unity. And not this version of Unity, but the new version of Unity. And let me make sure that I don't have any errors. So no errors. And the, the name, of course, needs to be changed because this is now called placement controller. It's actually going to make it a lot easier to read too. They're smaller. And then let me go back into the air session origin. Make sure that I have my prefab associated. So this is going to be this prefab. And then I think that's everything that we need for this demo. So let me go ahead and get it built. So I'm going to go into my build settings. And I need to change this as well. I need to add this as an open scene. This needs to be changed to iOS. So I'm going to switch the platform. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. And then once we change the platform, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a new build. And then we're going to be looking at how this works on my phone by running, you know, by creating a build on 2019.3.0 B7. So as soon as it's done building, I'm going to show you in the basically a demo in a video. All right, guys. So I got a couple of errors that I think I needed to show you before I build this application. So one of them, which I already cleared, was the camera usage description. You need to make sure that you populate that because that's going to tell the system that you're going to be using AR features from the camera. So I have that. And then now I have the saying that I need the minimum version is to be 11 because that's what AR kit is, where, when AR kit was introduced. So make sure that you set that minimum to 11. And then I think that's everything that we need. Let me go ahead and try to build now and see if this is going to build. I wanted to show you because if you run into the same issues, I want you to know exactly how to fix it. Okay, so I still have a few issues. Let me see what other issues I have. And okay, so this is the ARKit XR plugin only supports the ARM64 architecture. We need to go back into build settings and go into player settings. And then this needs to be the architecture needs to be set to ARM64. So let's go ahead and save that. Go back into my build and then replace the project and see if we see if, we, if it works now. So it looks like it's working now. So I'll show you as soon as this is done building. All right, guys, so I got this running on my device and I want to show you the results. You can see that the plane detection is working with the latest version. I'm also using the people occlusions. You can see how my hand is getting occluded. The resolution is not the best because I selected the fastest. I'm also placing another, basically another airplane from the Synthi Studios examples. I'm also placing my hand beneath the, basically the wing. And yeah, I was running out of battery. And you can see that, you know, it's not precise and it's not really, you know, 100% correct, but it, but it's getting better. And, and I think it's because of the angle where I put the plane. If we had a bigger plane and I was walking around, I think it'll be a lot more precise. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this looks and, and functionality wise. So, you know, latest version of Unity works really well with the with people occlusion and basically the examples that I built. Thank you guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.